hi guys very good evening to you uh, welcome to the video number 289 and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about how to use the a function in the Excel this is going to be the part one and uh, going forward uh, I will also upload the videos on the if and if or and how to combine the uh, more than one a function which we also call it you know nested if so in this video this is my channel name as you can see here if you want to just uh, you know promote the channel if you think that uh, it is worth promoting this channel this is the channel address you can uh, you know uh, tell the uh, the community you know uh, people who uh, work on uh, work in the excel if, it, if they want to get the benefit they want to uh, learn the excel excel vba or access or access vba this is my channel and if you are watching the channel for the first time then uh, i want to tell you that uh, you, you can simply go to the playlist we have created 42 different playlists here as you can see uh, i can scroll it down and you can you know start from the the big name if you if you if you are already working on the excel or excel vba or access access vba whatever right we have the combination of all the videos for you so that is just the information i always give in the beginning of the video now let's come and see that what exactly we are going to learn today so as i said i'm going to talk about the if function now first of all this is the video for the beginners if you have a good knowledge of the a function this video is not for you right i really don't want to waste your time so you can definitely skip this video now let us start the if function so what is the if function first of all that is a thing which we need to understand so if is actually a logical function which we use in excel right now there are different types of the if for example you have the if you have the uh, if and then there is another function which is called if or and then you can also use if in if and you know further there is no limit to that we will discuss the if function in this video then we will start you know in the next video i will talk about the if and if or and the nested if and by the way guys uh, there is already a playlist as you can see on the excel if function if you are really a very somebody who thinks that's very good in the if function please go ahead and you can watch these amazing four videos right so uh, now let's come back to the topic and uh, what i want to do today is i want to tell you how to use the if function so as you know every function starts with the equals to this is how you write equals to f function and you start the bracket now the good thing about the if function is that it is a very easy function it just uses three parameters one is the logic where you put the logic logic can be true or false nothing else than that and then if the logic is true then what you write in the true that comes and that is going to be executed and if the logic is going to fail then what you write in the value false that is going to be executed right so this is how you write the thing so logic one comes and then comma value false and then comma value false uh, value true comma and then value false and then you close the bracket and that's it this is called the single if single if simple if whatever you want to call it so to give you the understanding on this i want to take up the first question which i have already written to save the time uh, let's say this is a question number one which says if employee id is greater than 300 then print the ok otherwise not ok so this is what you need in the cell called b3 right so how are you going to do this now how will you compare the employee id is greater than 300 or not so you will use the greater than symbol okay so you we will select the cell called a3 where we have the value now i'm not sure what value it is going to hold because the moment i drag this formula a3 will change to a4 a5 a6 and so on so we will simply write here that if the value in the a3 is going to be greater than 300 then you write the comma now you know that this a3 greater than 300 is going to give you either true or false because you are doing the comparison and that is why you know they say that this is a logic test so what you write in the value of uh, true is okay and then you write the comma and value false you write here not okay now the important point if you're noticing here that I'm putting the everything within the quotes so whenever you write any text you got to put it within the quotes if you don't do that if function will not work for example if I just remove this and I press enter you see that this is what exactly is happening we found a typo in your formula and try to correct it to this and you can see that I'm getting here quotes in the not okay well I guess uh, this option is not available in 2010 and 2007 because there I think you get the prompt that the formula doesn't work I mean they don't even give you the correction I'm using Excel 2016 so this is a nice feature they have introduced right so here I can say yes and the moment I say yes you see the quotes are automatically inserted 
so this is the important point right if you want to have a look at how this works you can go to the formula and you click on the evaluate formula and here the underline item is going to be executed i use this evaluate formula a lot if you if you know me through my channel you would have seen it you know we have used it in many videos whenever we want to understand how the formula works step by step so here you see that if i click on the evaluate i get to see 100 100 is greater than 300 this is going to be compared which is in this case going to be false now when it is going to be false automatically your if function will execute the not okay right because this okay you have written in the value if true parameter so you click on the value and this is how you know your function works so now right now we just simply need to drag it and you see that we have the answer which is correct wherever you have the employee id greater than 300 it's printing okay and wherever you have the employee id greater than less than 300 we are having the not okay if i change this value to let's say triple four automatically the answer will also change right let me undo it so this is the first thing now let's go ahead and uh, see the second thing the second question the second question is that if the employee id is blank print invalid else not valid so it is again a single if condition now how will you identify whether it is it is a single if or you know if and or if or if the criteria is one then you will always write single if if the if you have a more than one criteria then you will write if and or if or that depends i will talk about that in the next session but in this we have a one criteria which is simple if you are blank this is how you write blank you write the double quotes like this right so if you are a blank then what we want to do is we want to print here in the value false invalid again you're going to put it within the quotes and then in the value false you will write here not valid close the packet i press enter there we go not valid obviously everything would come as a not valid right because we have a value here but if i let's say delete something here let's say i delete this you see that I'm deleting these cells so I have my answer changed to invalid right now if you think that if I write here zero then what would be the answer I want to tell you now if you press zero then please understand look at this zero is what zero is uh, so first of all let me correct this it's an invalid and uh, then I would say better we should write valid right because not valid and <laughs> invalid actually look same I should have written here uh, valid actually okay now that is perfect now this is what I was telling you you see the writing the zero does not mean that you know it is going to be invalid because your condition says that the a6 has to be blank if I press F to and show you this has to be blank and remember when you write zero it is not a blank there is a value here right and uh, I can show you if you if you just use the length function I hope you know this length function length function means that if you ever want to get the number of characters in a cell how many you want to count it you use the length function len so if I select this cell there is just a one parameter called text I close the bracket now you see the answer would come as one so zero is considered as one but the moment I delete this this length is going to be zero because there is no character here right so answer would also come as invalid so this is the logic so zero is not a space first of all i wanted to clear right one more thing i want to clear here now i'm going to write add here space pass for example i'm here i'm writing here you see that i'm adding five six space pass here i press enter and you see that it's coming here valid right why it is valid because space is also considered as a text as one character so if you go ahead and use the length function and you select this cell called a4 and you press enter you see that you have actually eight spaces here I inserted eight spaces in front of you and that is why you know I just used a space bar eight times right so we have a eight space here or in other words we can say we have eight characters so if you ever you know drag the formula like this and you're wondering that why the answer is coming valid so please check guys that is there any space created here or not for example the moment i click on the fx bar you see that my cursor is blinking here ideally it should blink somewhere here so you need to backspace it so i'm going to backspace it now i press enter and this is how you can remove the space so these are the very minor things which can create a problem if your basics are not clear that is why i'm telling you in ad advance now let's go ahead and uh, let us do the last question the last question is 
if the employed is greater than and equals to 300 well it's the same question but why i have written it because it's greater than and equals to it's not greater than so how we write it that's very interesting to see now when you so i will select this a3 now if you write this greater than sign you know it is going to be treated as a greater than sign but my question is greater than and equals to so what you need to do is you need to write equals to with this greater than right now some people also forget and you know they try to write like this now this is not the correct way and you, you can also you know remember it uh, by seeing you know this that anytime if this becomes like an arrow right now you can see it looks like an arrow so that means you are wrong you are going in a wrong direction it should not look like that right so you make it like this greater than equals to now we have to compare it with 300 so rest you already know i press comma value if true is going to be bold which means that whatever you write in the value of true that will go in the value of true parameter okay so here we will write okay then comma and not okay let's say this is how we write i close the bracket and it is saying not okay and i will drag it so now if i write here 300 look you can see that 300 is coming okay in the previous example here in the remarks this one it's showing not okay the difference is very simple because in this condition in this if we are saying that it has to be greater than and equals to this but here we are not saying that it has to be equals to 300 we are only saying that it has to be greater than 300 right so this is called the f function this is how you write the f function and uh, so th there are a couple of operators uh, i mean you know these comparisons which you should know what are the basically the signs for that for example equals to everybody know i know that this is the greater than sign this is the less than sign this is greater than and equals to sign this is less than and equals to sign and by the way do you know that what is a not equals to sign this is the important one not equals to now for example if i just write here question number four and i say that if employee id is not equals to 100 then display let's say then display good else bad so this is my condition so what i'm trying to do is i'm saying that if my employee id is you know uh, not equals to 100 then how you will write you will write if you select the cell a3 and this is how we write not equals to right so if the employee is not equals to 100 then i will write here what good i will put it within the quotes and then comma and then within the quotes again bad and then i close it there we go and then i'm going to drag this formula like this and i have my answer bad good 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 you know now not necessarily you have to use the not equals to sign you can also reverse the situation for example right now you're saying if a3 is not equals to 100 then show good so in other words i can also write that if a3 equals to 100 right if it is equals to 100 then it has to be bad right and if it is not equals to 100 then it has to be good so basically when you change the sign of equals to and not equals to your true parameter and false parameter also changes this is something you need to take care of it and also one more important thing sometime as a beginner what people do for example in this example where we said that a3 is greater than 300 right what they actually do is they don't use this 300 greater than 300 then they simply select the cell which i know it looks very absurd you know or you would ask me that nobody can do that but trust me guys sometime it happens they select the a3 and then they write this value of true and value of false the point i'm trying to make is if you select the a3 and you go in the you know this formula tab evaluate formula what will you get in the a3 you will get the 100 but guys 100 is not going to return you the logic test logic test means as i said in the beginning either it has to be true or false that's it nothing else so if the result is true fine if the result is false then also fine that will depend upon this true and the false parameter but you will have to provide you know a logical test here which could be you know uh, of any of these uh, symbols we can use equals to greater than less than greater than equals to and uh, not equals to any you know so on
so this is the important thing you need to remember if you write if you press enter right away you can see that I'm getting here answer called OK right so if I just change this to triple seven let's say do you see that there is anything happening here in this cell it's it is still OK however depending upon the question it was employed is greater than 300 then write OK else not OK so if I change this to 10 again you would see nothing here right so maybe you can think that the answer is coming but answer is not going to be you know correct so you will have to provide here logical operator so I'm going to write here as we wrote greater than 300 so this is about the a function to know more about the if functions either you can go to my playlist excel if function or maybe you can check out some videos on the uh, excel uh, VBA interview questions there also we have around two three more videos very interesting videos on the if function so if you haven't subscribed to the channel i request you to subscribe to the channel guys and uh, i will be back soon with the another series and there we will you know be discussing about the if and an if or thank you so much for watching bye bye